you know, we have overwhelming support uh, from uh, the local residents of Wilcox. We've uh, uh, garnered a petition uh, signed by 35 residents on that road. Uh, these are residents and businesses. I think there's maybe only 37 total residents on Airport Road. Uh, they fully support it. The local community fully supports this. And they understand this is going to be a huge impact to the local, local economy. And it's going to be a long-term solution uh, to, a, to a problem that, um, you know, we find, you know, this will be, this will solve the problem. We're a willing and able partner to work with the county once again uh, to get this done. And uh, you know, we look forward to, to working with the county again. And we hope you, you guys will approve this. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Lowe. All right, we can go other There's a lot of support. Actually, there's fully support of the community on Airport Road and both of this project. Um, so my fully support it is we are dependent on partners for the last 10 years on getting roads improved. Um, with the exception of a few, uh, pretty much all the roads that have been improved in the last 10 years have been partnership projects. And so this continues to help support them. Well, I see this a little differently. I, um, I, I don't think this is the same as the uh, public private partnerships that we have entered in since, since I've been on the board. Uh, those were initiated by homeowners and they contributed. Um, they were all for one mile or less. Uh, and I know that you and I both have contributed part of the money that's allocated to us in order to help those homeowners uh, upgrade uh, the surface of the road near their homes. Um, you know, I, I, I've contributed a, a hundred thousand dollars for one mile of Winston Road, and um, twenty-five years ago there were five hundred people on a petition that wanted Winston Road paved. I know these people turned in a petition that they had, you know, hundred signatures. Let's say people people always want things paid if they don't have to pay for it. Um, you know, the city of uh, Bloomstone or, or Benson or any city that comes to us and wants an IPA that wants to to have some work done. You know, we, we charge them for the uh, the supplies, we charge them for the equipment, we charge them uh, time and a half for the labor. And uh, and these are our constituents also. Um, so I, you know, I, I don't see how this got under the radar. And I, I will have to tell you that last year when, um, when they offered to um, offset the cost of putting the milling on Airport Road, uh, I felt that that was reasonable. The millings were given to us, and they were in the area. They were given to us by the Department of Transportation. And uh, I thought, well, that's good. They're paying the, in other words, they were paying the whole cost, I thought, of what was being done, which was the laying of the milling on uh, on Airport Road and perhaps some uh, uh, shaping that needed to be done. Um, this project I don't understand. This, uh, this company has a business and they also have a proposed subdivision. Um, just uh, last week we were discussing uh, another company that wants to come in and put a subdivision on Airport Road. Um, I don't understand why the county should raise the value of these properties for the uh, for the people that own the property now, and that creates an unequal playing field for those other people who might want to develop property. Um, it's giving an advantage and, and a big advantage, and I, I, I guess I'm, I'm not interested in, in supporting that advantage. Uh, you know, I really see this as, as um, we're, we're looking at the Border Patrol forward operating station today, later today. Uh, and that's at the end of 21 miles out of Geronimo Trail. Um, we have not been interested in putting a chip seal on that road. They have created a lot of traffic. Uh, we are interested in them paying to have that road chip sealed. Uh, and these are people who are uh, our government. They are uh, people who are protecting us. Um, this company that we're looking at today to, to help support, you know, that, uh, they're, they're 
was their investment in Cochise County. They they didn't pay as much for that property, and all of a sudden we're making it very valuable for them. I I um, I can't support this. If there if if Indy is creating more traffic on Airport Road, then um, it looks to me as though the people who live on there should be looking to Indy Motorsports to upgrade the road instead of looking to Cochise County to uh, upgrade the road. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm not interested in, in supporting Indy Motorsports and then expecting um, the Border Patrol Forward Operating Station to come up with the money to pave the, the road out to their facility. If I could, uh, Supervisor, Smith. if we choose not to accept this contribution today, all that's going to do is uh, keep Airport Road in the same condition that um, the residents uh, there, uh, the nine times the petition area was over uh, close to 40 residents on that petition that use this road. They're the ones that are actually going to be losing on this deal. And it's all because of
Father, to 